Greetings Earthlings, it's Shane with Oddball Cards. Gonna do a little freestyle here on a, this is my Thursday morning mug. Yes, I have a specific mug for Thursdays. Not really for any other day of the week. My favorite mug, which actually inspired some of the Oddball Chronicles that you hear, is an Iron Maiden mug. If you don't know, I was sitting daydreaming one day and wondering how it is that I could uh, signal to my future self that I was evolved enough to have a conversation with myself. Uh, I had a good laugh at that and then realized what if I uh, what if I do need a signal to myself so I decided on an Iron Maiden mug. I have broken my own rules. We are down to the last stack of Gypsy Queen uh, hobby. Gosh, so that would be the middle stack. I thought about selling these to recoup some of the $160 shipped this was. And then I looked on eBay and saw how beautiful these cards are. And the greedy part of me was hoping for an autograph, which it doesn't look like we'll get, but that's okay. These are great looking cards. <laughs> and this guy has a nice name. Shane Bieber is our blue, it's probably indigo. Out of 150. All right. So we're not just in it for the money. We're in it for the love of the hobby. So I'm freestyling a little bit, but I will go with some of the more popular questions that I get. Uh, often people that meet me in real life or spend some time around me are a little disappointed that I am not more funny. To which I say you can ram it up your kazoo and start blowing bubbles. And... I think some of what you guys see comes from the fact that I work with people all day in a healthcare capacity and a fairly, st I'm paid to be nice is what I tell people and uh, I really enjoy my job. Yes, Casey Mize, cover up, oh, I love my bodacious, love Casey Mize, Vasquez, fam, last year's rookie of the year, hopefully it's a uh, Seems, hopefully a computer doesn't decide it this year. All right, here's our miscellaneous rookie. Kind of fitting we put it on Billy Ripken's head. All right, and better this, all right. Uh, some of the other questions that I get are, <clears throat> do you really know some of the people that you talk about? <clears throat> Chris from Canada hasn't been around too much. Many people thought he was a, a made up character. Uh, he is not. He is crotchety and one of my closest friends and a good dad. All right, here's another miscellaneous rookie. Intercontinental Cards and I uh, actually started out as just groupies of the same. Hey, there's the, he and Jeter, they should just retire the captain. We'll put him on Yachty because I'm sure Yachty's a captain. Uh, hey, yes, Kirilov. He was doing well before I broke him. A Kybert Ruiz and Daz Cameron. Uh, bad luck breaks. Uh, there's some rumors he'll be back. He is my idol and we met, I think, in just the comments section of his. And Ichthid and I speak, uh, both have a love of the hobby and of the actual game. So we do a lot of uh, correspondence texting about pretty much just about those two things with a with an odd lament here and there about me about the availability or something or or views or whatever he talks me down off a ledge he's a good friend but um some of the quips and qualms are actually yes, mount castle one of my favorite players i don't want to break him are from actual conversations where he has to correct me. I'm sort of the, uh, if we were in a sitcom, I guess I'd be the lovable, but not quite as dumb as Joey, but kind of uh, more heart and passion than brains, brother. Whereas he's the kind of calm, steady, uh, not a spreadsheet guy, but uh, let's say he has a broader base of knowledge. All right. I'm actually happy that I opened that Chrome pack. I don't want to be one of those people who 
I'll sell some things here or there, but usually not unsealed product. I'm so mad about the damn price of this. I can hear, hear John Klinsman laughing at me about uh, my old man rants of prices. Buster Posey is blocking Joey Bart, but he's doing it in beautiful fashion, so how can I complain? I just want to look smart for catching on to Bart. Bought a handful of his firsts. I'm still waiting for them to mature. I'm actually a big Buster Posey fan. Uh, <clears throat> saw him. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I didn't see him because I was in 2010 for my honeymoon. Went to, never been to uh, Giant Stadium. Cubs were playing there and uh, was living in Alaska at the time. And I'm really botching this pack. Get out of here. Come out. All right. And uh, didn't have a set place we were going to honeymoon and found out the Cubs were playing the Giants and went there for a couple games. All right. Leody Tavares, right? It's been such a long year in comparison to last year. Word I'm mixing up names with last year's rookies. Dalton Varsho. Another rookie catcher who I've never heard of. Heim. Hey, look at that. Hey, uh, missing nameplate. James Capriellan. All right. Well, that's cool. All right. Segura and Jeffries. Last time I forgot to look for any bazooka backs, but I now know I did not get any bazooka backs. My coffee's getting cold. Try to hi uh, hide the mic. There we go. All right. Needed the caffeine. Was unexpectedly on a day off with work slow. And what do you do? You sleep in. You meet a friend for lunch, barbecue, and uh, do a video you're not sure. I'll probably just post it on my normal Saturday slot. I thought about it being a bonus one. But dang it, sometimes I lament about this because this is an expensive hobby. Yes, Pache. You can go in the good pile. He's a good story. I love that he's back in. Ooh. I said I thought we were owed one more uh, serial numbered card. All right. I was going to say we have a, an autograph we are owed also. That's really cool. So is this the... This is out of 99... Oh, that's cool. I thought it was on an insert. This merits sleeving up, and since we're doing a freestyle, I'm actually going to sleeve and top load this. Uh, one of the things I like to do when you guys don't see me is I'm on gourmet breaks, and uh, gosh, with the price of hobby stuff, I split a jumbo box of Series 2. Ended up with a wonderful looking Dylan Carlson out of 25. I love that Tops added those what, like the orange and greens and uh, kind of combats the junk wax era uh, that we are. I resisted it for a while, but that we are likely in. I do like this is the upside of hobby boxes is when you get something good. I'm a huge Ginter fan, but I did not buy um, a Ginter hobby box to pay sixty more dollars for a relic or two. I'm not one of those guys that's usually lucky. That's one of the better autos I've pulled. So I think these are some of the highlights from that jumbo box. If you can't see it, this is a rainbow foil of Cabrian. Uh, someone else I'm high on, and I don't want to jinx. Uh, Looks like I got the Relic, uh, also a Dylan Carlson. Cabrian, this is just a small stack I hadn't put away, and I was like, who cares about this card? But it is a numbered flagship, sorry for all the glare, uh, out of 99. Obviously, you want someone better, but uh, that's why you take some of the shots on Hobby Boxes, is to see... If you get one of the big names, serial numbered. So the rest of that pack just got his autograph. 
uh, out of the first part of this box. It was just trying to remember what it was. Uh, so now I'm a fan, of course. Just like I want Carter Keyboom's prices to go up. Uh, I have some rookie autos of his, a Jeff McNeil. Do I have a Michael Conforto or do I just like him? I think I just like him. Oh, what I was thinking was Brandon Nimmo was back for the Mets, who are trying to hold off what, the Phillies and the Braves. Uh, but Brandon Nimmo, I think, was a clearly authentic I got a couple years ago, and I was mad about and finally sold somebody in, uh, I think it was from Puerto Rico. I'd never shipped there before. Bought it for 20 plus dollars. Miscellaneous rookie. That is one of the things I get to some actual quips and qualms about is someone is like, this guy could be rookie of the year. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I read the box scores, but there's no narrative there for me, so I don't know. And another miscellaneous rookie. All right. We are down to our last pack of the hobby box. Um, I said I thought we are owed something serialed. I'm going to go ahead and call that complete when we get a Dylan Carlson rookie auto out of 99. I don't think we are owed uh, any more serial stuff, but Greedy Pig Jones here would love one. Wilson Contreras. I was actually hoping it was William, even though I've gotten him a couple times. This guy has a good name. Shane McClanahan. Miscellaneous rookie. Look, there he is. Dylan Carlson. Really, I like guys that are playing good baseball. Um, I was looking at uh, Cabrian's power numbers. I guess I'm still seduced from last year. The Braves did a great job picking him up. Uh, Braves just make smart moves. All right, and our last card is a miscellaneous rookie of Carlos Hernandez. Shout out to Tony D, Paul C, Charlie C., uh, again, Rad, Dad, B Dog, good friend, actual friend. He had a birthday, so the wishing a birthday was not for ratings or anything. So the X Files, Yadier Molina, a gift from Paul C. Dylan Carlson and I wish you a good day. Oddball, out. Oddball is a dum dum. I saw the back, the front. All right, that's not too bad. I'm just happy we got a bazooka. Someone was doing the math, and it's like 183 packs. Uh, so Oddball is a dum-dum. Forgot to do the bazooka check. I doubt we'd get two, but since I've got the chuckles about Oddball being a dum-dum here in the outro, no more bazookas. All right, mission accomplished.